Hey guys, I am the one gamer. This is Pokemon Black Walkthrough Part 58. In the last part, we faced Lee for Marshall, Marshall as a rematch, and in this part, we're gonna face the champion, Alder, for the first time and the only time. Which is pretty cool. I haven't faced the champion yet. It's pretty interesting because he, you don't face the champion until like the final stretch of the game at level like 75. Because he's got Pokemon purely at level 75, so he's got a main, but he's uh, he's got one level 77. I'm sorry, sorry for that. Um. What, level 70 freaking 7? God. This is off center. Why is it off center? What the heck? Why is it off? Why, why could it? Oh, God. It's off center. It really, really bothers me. Oh, hi. Hmm. Yes. All this music. Yeah. Better This is This is the toughest battle in the game, actually. It really is. I, I'm serious right now. It's one of the toughest battles in the entire game. Uh, he's got four forest stores, no hold items on his Pokemon, he starts with level 75, Axel Gore, Bug type, uh, Hydration Ability, Attacks, Focus Blast, Bug Bus, Me First, and Energy Ball. I'm trying to just spam with Fire Blasts. That's pretty much how things work at this point in time. This game is truly difficult at this point, at this part of it. Here we go. And the Axel Gore is gone, or Axel Gore, I don't know. Buffalon, um, truly difficult. Uh, level 75, normal type, Sap Sipper ability, attacks Head Charge, Mega Horn, Earthquake, and Stone Edge. This is this is quite the battle. Oh God. Um, we're gonna go with Super Power. Um, now you're playing with power, Super Power. Yeah. There you go. Uh, hopefully it's a 1 at KO from that point of HP. Maybe? Thank you. Alrighty then, that's good, that's good, that's good. Buffalon has been defeated, and Kim finally did something right on the final battle. Yes. Let's go here! Yay! This is where Jim really can shine, again! <laughs> the second time in a row now. Level 75, Escavalier, Bug Steel type, Swarm Ability, Attacks X Scissor, Iron Head, Air Lace, and Giga Impact. Fire Blast again. And finish him off. I believe that's it at least, because it's four, four, four times effective and same time attack bonus again. Which kind of just wrecks him. That's how it works. And there we go. Uh, Volcarona. Oh god. Um, send him Bob for that one. This is the main. Level 77. Bug fire type. Flame body ability. Attacks overheat, quiver dance, bug bust, and hyper beam. It's got hyper beam. I am truly scared for this guy. Truly scared. It's gonna be a bit difficult. Hydro Cannon, I guess. I can't really do anything else. This is kind of my only option at this point. Try and just deal damage. Because look at that. You can just do Quiver Dance and get stats to no end. If I can just one hit him. Oh, crap. Um, now I have to recharge. But he must recharge too. This is amazing. I can just finish him off now if he doesn't want to KO me. Oh, he does. But I have another Pokemon. I have another Pokemon. That's fine. Uh, what can I do though? What's my best bet? Rock slide, rock slide, yes. If I miss now, I'm truly disappointed actually. Um Rock Slide. Must recharge. Yes! Oh, that's good. There you go. Volcarona has been defeated. The most difficult Pokemon in the entire game to defeat essentially is defeated. Pretty gone. Um I'm gonna go in for Carl, I guess? Carl? Um Okay, so, Drudigon, level 75, Dragon-type, rough skin ability, attacks, outrage, superpower, night slash, and payback. No hold items, as I've said like 10 million times, I don't know why I'm saying it all the time. Because I don't, need, I don't really need to, I don't need to ever say anything, but you know, I want to, so that's how, that's how things work at this point. Level 70, freaking 5, of course it does damage. Oh, that's great, um, trying that, oh. I just I was just about to say it, try and land a thunder wave, but nope, it's not gonna happen. But he might get confused. No, oh, he's gonna do one more attack for that. Okay, but uh, I I only have one or uh, two Pokemon left. It's this one, and uh, then there is one more, which is very weak to Jim, so I think I might be able to make it pretty easily. Not too sure though. I can't say too much about this. Outrage will do tons of damage, but it will make him confused because it's gonna be maximum of three turns before he gets confused. And now he's confused due to fatigue. Due to fatigue. I always, I always said fatigue for some reason. It's fatigue. Fatigue. 
difficult to say. Oh, of course he hits. Of course he hits the damn move. Guess what else would he do? Hit himself? Ah, oh, that's not gonna happen. That's how I feel right now. I feel unfairly treated. Freaking crap, man. Okay, am I faster than this guy? Is that even possible? Yes, it is. I did not think that was even possible. Okay. Hit yourself, hit yourself. No, you're not. You're not gonna do that. You're never gonna hit yourself. That's not gonna happen. Ooh, yes. Rough skin, I don't care. I don't care about rough skin. I don't care about rough skins and crap like that. I was saving Jim for the final one here. Venelux. Um, that's the final Pokemon I'll face against this guy. Venelux, level 75, ice Pokemon, um, ice body, ice type, I was trying to say. And then the Blizzard, Flash Cannon, Light Screen, and Acid Armor. This guy is a tank. If I, if, if he can, if he, if he sets it up, then he's gonna be a tank. But I'm gonna have Land of Fire last before he gets to set anything up, so I might be able to make it before he does that. Level 73 on Jim. This is amazing. There you go. I have defeated Alder. I've done it. I have done it. Yes. Only six minutes. It took less than any Elite Four, Elite, Elite Four member I faced. Different music. Or different audio, I guess. <laughs> Not music. Well done. You certainly are an unmatched talent. Come on, me. Sh I sure am. Because I'm the champion of Unova. But I don't have the same levels as you do. But that's alright. This room is a hall of fame. They exist to commemorate the trainers and Pokemon who have demonstrated their stellar strength and kindness at heart. Yeah, that looks good. That looks amazing. Ooh, the Hall of Fame. I've never done this in the Gen 5 games. Yes. Me. Alrighty then, that's the credits, I believe. That's what it's gonna be now. It's gonna take a while. Jeez. It probably saved the game or something. Oh, freaking the bottom screen. Show it off. Show the bottom screen here. There you go. Perfect. Hopefully you can see alright. Oh yeah. It has become time for the Hall of Fame. Or the, the end. Here I have Carl. The Lord and Savior of the game. Oh, not really. Look at this, 33-33, that's the best playtime ever, but I'm not done with the game, that's the sad part, that sucks. If it would have been done now, that, that would have been just the amazing, most amazing thing ever, I'm saving the game. Okay, it's going to be on the top screen now. What now? What about meow? Here you go. Meow. Let's see what the credits I have to offer. So I'm not done with the game yet, I have two parts left. Oh, it's the epic credits! Yeah! Yeah, that's amazing. Okay, um, I don't want to do the after the aftermath talk right right now because I'm not done. I have two episodes left to record, and then the after game is actually completed. I did not think there was going to be this short of an after game. Uh, it's been going really fast. It's just I I started the after game like a month ago, and I'm done with it now. But pretty much, I have two. I have the final rival battles, and I have the Cynthia battle left, and I'm completely done with the game. I have nothing left to do. And then I can focus completely on Pokemon White 2. But uh, at the end of Pokemon Black after game, I'm going to reveal that I'm starting a new project. And uh, I'm not going to say it yet. I'm, I'm going to wait with that for a while. Just so you know. I'm going to wait with it for a little while. Not, not too long. But for, for a little bit. Just FYI. Hopefully you're not too sad about that. Um, but I think it's going to be alright. Hmm. It's not much of a waiting time either, just so you know, so... Uh, this is kind of a waiting time, though. A bit of a waiting time, if I would say so myself. But, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. I guess I should talk about a bit about the walkthrough now. I should do more, like, when the Cynthia battle begins or something. Like After the Cynthia battle. That's when I should talk about it. But I can't really do that, because... This is kind of where you're supposed to talk about it, but I can't because that's the wrong time. Well, um, the the rival battles are going to be very easy because I should have taken them on before the Elite Four rematches, but uh, I didn't for some reason because they're like level 65 through 67. But wait, wait, Bianca is like level 63 or something like that. That that was when I started off screen training. I, I was at that level, so I should have done it at that point, but I didn't. 
because they're like the normal trainers around the routes <laughs> throughout Unova. And uh, Elite for rematches are crazy high levels, like for example Alder and uh, Cynthia and Game Freak Morimoto. I don't know what I was thinking when I faced Game Freak Morimoto at that level, but I, I did it and I managed to make it. That's the, that's the surprising part. But um, I'm ho I hope you enjoyed this episode and next time we will go ahead and wrap this game up by facing the rival battles. And then after that, Cynthia and the finale. See you all then. Bye.